let's just go back to the name for a second. How, oh, how, I was thinking about how, that this morning. How did, <laughs> you were the one that chose One this Way Ministry as, as, this as, is as a, a name. Story. How did the name come this about? This is a good right? story. We were, you know how we can do, we think we're, you know, we're praying, we're asking for God, yes. or we're asking Divine other people. Divine intervention. Trying, we, we, remember, Mark, we came up with the word T-E-A-M, but T period, E period, a yeah, teaching, a, 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 something and, uh, edifying, admonishing, and mentoring, right? So we're, you know, we thought, acronym, oh, that's pretty spent. Yeah, and, and ac- is that what you call it? Okay, so. acronym. So w- we thought that was pretty cool. Well, boom, we checked on it, couldn't get it. Boom, we went through this. So after a while, and then you this is a, tr- and fasted for this is a days, true right? story of what happened, okay? <laughs> I'm sitting in a parking lot, not four or five minutes from my home. I drove into the parking lot of a pizza hut, and I'm looking up at a sign, and I see... And this is no. And I'm, I'm thinking about this name because we only have there's a time frame on it, and I see the word Subway, Subway, S U B W A Y, the sandwich place. And and this had to come from the Lord. I hope it was from the Lord. It was one way, and I got the one way, and that's what I came back with. And 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 the interesting part about this because one way is when you think about it just naturally, you'd say. Oh, that's not good. That's arrogant. That's, you know, that's not going to be received well because it's one way, our way and stuff. Yeah. But it's worked out in time. And I think it's, again, the names maybe didn't. I think because of the respect and the, the, that we've there to serve and really care about people and we we're, we don't have our hands out. We got the towel out. And I think that's established trust. And, and we're continually learning to do that. Well, um just recently at the Civic Prayer Breakfast, which Jerry was very instrumental in um, leading and still leading, um, to have the mayor talk a little bit about one-way ministries, yes. was, it was just putting a smile on my face because um, I, I want, you know, I was kind of thinking, does he have a, does he, does he think, you know, those thoughts about one-way ministries, right. but he was very, very complimentary. And so yeah. that's, uh, you know, really it relates to your relationship with him. And uh, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Good. So what challenges uh, made you second guess your progress over the early years? What what came along that said, yikes, what, what are we doing? How do we get through this? Were there any such challenges that you can in think in of? In terms of the, well, the ministry yeah. development mm-hmm. and growth, uh, we, we've had, we had to, I had to let go one of my closest friends in the, in the, in the ministry mm-hmm. and he's, and that worked out well, yes. yeah, very well. Praise and we're, our friendship today, by the grace of God, yeah. is stronger that than it's hard. ever been. But we had to work through it, yeah. you know, and because it wasn't was, a lack of love; it was other issues. No, it was other yeah. issues, other yeah. things that went yeah. on, and uh, that was a tough one. Hey, Mark, that was a really yeah. tough time. Mark and I, I had to step into that because I'd already given Mark over the leadership of the of the ministry, and but I because of the friendship and the history, we had to say, no, I, I can't. I got to step in this and not act like I'm going to ignore it and avoid conflict. I got to step into the situation, yeah. you know. So that was a tough one. Yeah. You think tough. Of anything else? Well, I think um, you know, just on the health front, you know, we've we've had right. we've had challenges, uh, a number of different challenges. One of them was Lori, you know, yes. your wife when she went through yeah. cancer. Right. Yeah. But Kari losing his wife uh, to right. cancer was very significant for right. our ministry because Kari was very involved in uh, giving uh, leadership to One Way in those days. Your accident was 13 you, years ago now. Yeah, well, your accident was 13 years ago. Yeah, snowmobile. Larry, yeah, snowmobile. Where that just totally took Larry out for a good yeah. year, really. I mean, maybe even longer. Let, but, let me comment on that one, though, yeah. Mark. That one, it, again, you know how these things, we, we don't understand them at the time, and then you look at them back and say, wow, that really impacted my life. Well, it did oh. in many ways. Wouldn't want to go through it again, but it was a time that God revealed to me clearly my need for a, a contemplative, meditative uh, life and learning to be still and re- learning to, to really appreciate Sabbath. And then that's what, after that too many years, Mark, uh, what's the guy that, the Errol leadership that we, the author, uh, oh, Mark, Buchanan. Mark Buchanan wrote that book on yeah, the rest of God. The rest of God. And, and so out of that, I really had a deep, and that's, I wouldn't want to miss that today. Today, I, I really fight for it because I love being in the quiet every places day, where I can take, learn, right? I'm yeah. learning, learning to hear the voice of God. When I saw you, uh, when you were at your sickest moment, they had just sent you home, which is yeah. incredible. That's another story. But what I took from that is that they had sent you home. They had fixed the outside of your bodily structure. 
but they hadn't fixed the inside. Right. You, you were dying on the inside. Mm -hmm. And what a spiritual picture that was for yeah, me. Yeah, that's good. You know, and I said to Les, you know, he's got to go back to the hospital um, because they had fixed the bones and the structure, but inside there was so much damage and bruising that they needed to attend to. And I thought, that's exactly when we see people. They look okay on the outside, but if they just stop and pause and ask them a couple of questions, how's it going? All of a sudden, stuff is inside that we need to minister to, and that's the essence of what I think we do here at One Way. Right. Um, you talked about trust, you know, and uh, you know, love and trust obviously go together. Um, but, but that was also very foundational for us in, in terms of the ministry. And I remember even in the early days, and I think um, maybe uh, David Sweet helped us a little bit. This was before he got um, elected as an MP. Right. remember him coming in in the early days, and he facilitated a little bit of a let's put everything out on the table type of thing. I remember that right. was important for you and I in our relationship. Yeah. And um, um, I, I just say that to say I, th I think, you know, that, that is another one of those um, values and parts of the, of the one-way culture that uh, you really um, instilled well. And when we talk about um, when we talk about connecting and walking with and supporting and ministering to leaders these days, um, it's all because of trust. You know, that's the currency. That's the currency that we earn that allows us to Correct. bring people together. They they yeah. they trust us. They know that we're we care for them. We know that we're the the environment's going to be safe for them. Um, and so, um, you know, that would be that that would be one of the things that. Um, uh, a takeaway in terms of uh, the, the part of the culture that you uh, helped lay. Yeah, yeah, it's real important. And I was think going back it triggers what you had asked earlier, Jerry, about uh, these kind of transformational or, or, or very uh, important junctures yeah. of the growth and development. Mm -hmm. One of the big ones, and, and Mark and Tracy are now moving into that in terms of the uh, uh, together. Uh, program that you have for couples mm -hmm. and but what happened in the earlier stages is that that a part where I can be out there pouring my life into the men and really loving them well but it was disproportionate to what I needed to have for my family and for my wife and my kids and that was a transitional major change where we you know, emphasize, and I had to make some changes in my life and my actions. And I remember seeing different couples that I have respect in the city, and they would be often, you see them often with their with their spouse. You know, they're trying to, they knew that they needed to spend the time with spouse, but we started talking about, so we can, we can be out there saving the world and one-way ministries and this missional things and miss it either right in our marriage or in our home or miss it right in our team, right in front of us, right in our team. And so that's been something that we need to continue to remind ourselves and put those stones down, markers, because these are things that are paramount to maintaining and watching and being careful and guarding and you know, building and continually growing that team. Yeah, right, exactly. And that's, the, that's the, again, the, the key role of One Way is essentially to help people with a vision build a team because none of us can see the world as it is. We only see the world as we are. So we need to see an expanded vision of, of the things we cannot see. Right. And how do you do that? You do that with uh, interaction with other people, building teams and saying, oh, okay, together we're better than we are individually. So it's, right. a, it's a great concept. What are other highlights uh, from the past? You, you mentioned uh, you know, that, that one key element of, yeah. of, of success. Mark, uh, anything stand out like well, I think um, you know one of the unique things about One Way in our call is that we feel like we've been called to walk with um, women who are married to pastors and ministry leaders. And, yeah. and I think when Larry's talking about um, discovering what was going on in the interior lives, the private lives of leaders in those early, early years, we saw something in, in the lives of these, these women that was, um, was not healthy and where there was a real need. And so... Um, I remember you and I going and talking to Donna Lamont who, uh, and asking her to give leadership to a whole new program um, right. directed to yeah. uh, women who are married to pastors and ministry mm -hmm. leaders. And that has stuck with us. And it was actually Donna who, who pioneered what we now call the Together Experience, which Larry was talking mm -hmm. about. But very, very helpful. And the, you know, one of the cores, I think, of, of what One Way is all about is relationship. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. You know, Larry, you're, you, that's, that's a strength of yours and it has overflowed into all of our lives. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's enriched my life incredibly. But I think, you know, when I talk about one way now, I talk about that, you know, one of our, one of our key objectives is to help build friendships in our leadership community. And that goes, that goes way back to that, how that was important to you and, and how that was uh, uh, something that was in your heart. Mm -hmm. And so, and so we, you know, we try and do that with our team and our, our you know, we leave space yeah. for our team to be available for family. Yeah, and the uh, Together Group, Mark, just explain that. The couples meet for a couple of years and build yeah. solid relationships. Yeah, so they make, a, they make an almost a two-year commitment right. to, to be together on a regular basis for extended periods of time. Uh, and and one, of the, on one of our major objectives there is that they come out with some significant friendships. You yeah. know, well, it, it goes back to some research that's been done on the pastoral community, and you say it's true for, for business community as well, mm -hmm. that our leaders are lonely. They mm -hmm. don't have close friends. And so, you know, uh, Jesus said, you know, uh, I'm your friend. And uh, he called people into friendships. And so that's a big yeah. part of, it's a big yeah. part of what we do. Mm -hmm. One of the highlights for me, um, uh, just because it was just full of laughter, was when Phil Calloway spoke at the Pastors Appreciation event. We knew Phil was coming, so uh, you would ask Bill Stevens and I to MC, And so we tried to be funny in order to be, not to outdo Phil, but to fit in with the evening theme. And, and I don't know who else enjoyed it, but Bill and I had a blast on the platform. <laughs> we just had a good time. But Phil Calloway was funny, and I, I think it was a, a wonderful opportunity for people just to laugh. You know, laughter is a gift, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and there are times when we mourn. There's time when we laugh. There's time when we dance. But that was a laughter evening. And I think uh, for the pastors, I think they just had a blast that night. And the pastor's appreciation event is a, one of our signature events as well. Yeah, let me, give you, let me give you a little bit of history there. Because I think you and Lori were one of the first ones to come and speak at was it a pastor's event or was it a, and that was a marriage no, retreat? It, it was a that couple, was a, it was a couple's retreat. event. It was, it was a couple's, couple's event. event. Yeah. I think yeah. It was. Yeah. Yeah, now, it was pastors and their wives. Now, I wasn't there. For some reason, I couldn't yes. be there. But I remember that and hearing very, very good things about it. Yeah. But um, in, the early, in the early years, we had a really good relationship and still do. But we had a very close relationship with Focus on the Family. Mm -hmm. and, um, and they helped us bring in HB London. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And, pastor to pastor. And yeah. um, uh, we did what, our first really big appreciation event down at the, I think it was the NEC. And uh, Larry got up. And, um, and, uh, and we had a room full of people, probably 150, 200 people, there to hear H.B. London. And Larry got up and said, um, you know, welcome everybody, um, but you're probably wondering what the catch is, <laughs> you know, because people, they were coming yep. to our free event, yep. right? And what's, what's the catch? You know, there's <laughs> got to be a catch to this free event. And as, as Larry was saying that, I was sitting in there and I could hear this nervous laughter break out amongst the, the room. People were like, yeah, what's the catch? And, and Larry just was like, there's no catch. Yeah. We were just here. Yeah. You, there's, it's not going to cost you anything. We're not going to ask for anything. Uh, we don't want you to do anything. We just want you to receive. Mm -hmm. And that just began to set you know, the tone for how people perceive one way. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember that very, very specifically. I don't know if you remember that evening. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I remember also that was a pivotal time. And I think it was deposits, you know, the Billy Graham organization, the HB London piece. And then Larry Crabb, if you talk to people historically in the city, been around them walking in the city, they said they, that really impacted their life when we brought Larry Crabb in. Because yeah. he was a guy that had gone through a lot of stuff. And that's what we want to, to continue to grow in ourselves is that, hey, we, you gotta, we, we gotta put ourselves on the altar and continue to put ourselves on the altar for God can alter us and do what he needs to do in our, continually in our life. And, and Larry Crabb is one that I have a, I, I, I just value it so much. I, I got one-on-one -on -one time with both those guys and got to talk to them, ask them specific questions. Mark, you've also uh, initiated an advisory team um, because we, we should never assume that everybody loves us, right? And everybody lines up with who we are and what we're doing. Right. So we want to get some feedback. 20 years of ministry. I know this is hard to do because I'm, I would have our, I'm having a hard time thinking about it, but any, any uh, sort of over-the-top highlights for you, I'm, and it might be something really small that was just significant too, you know, it might not be a big event or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Well, let me go first, Larry, while you're yeah. thinking, because yeah. uh, you're going to have to help me with his second name. It's Mark, begins with a B. Buchanan. He worked, 
No, 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 oh. the different Mark. The guy that helped Donald Trump in all his TV success. Um, we, we had a video. Oh, uh, Mark, Mark Burnett. Burnett, thank you. Yeah. So Mark Burnett um, did this fantastic show out in Vancouver mm -hmm. and I bought the video. And I knew that business leaders would love to see it. I showed it here and then we, 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 and we brought some business leaders into a local hotel and showed it. But Mark Burnett told his story, the Trump story, long before Trump was president-elect. And, um, and it was just so funny as a business story, how he started selling t-shirts on the beach in California because he didn't know what else to do. And, uh, uh, and his next job was as a nanny, looking after a house and cooking for two brat kids of wealthy people. Uh, it's a great business story, but it's full of humor. And I think uh, that luncheon, I mean, we just had people splitting their sides uh, watching this video. So um, that was just a small event, 50 people, 60 people, uh, mostly business men and women. But um, I, I just remember, again, uh, the funny story. And I still have that video. Uh, Mark Burnett it was so funny. And with the Trump connection, I think, hey, it, it, it still has life. Yeah, there's probably three or four uh, reflection. I mean, always as a anyone that's part of the pioneering group, which you were, and Jerry has been at, at most of the level. I mean, you've seen the involvement of, of the ministry, but to see it come to fruition as kind of a, you know, uh, a maturing. maturing, but looking back and seeing the whole process and seeing it become what it is today. Yeah. And then to see people like Jerry and Richard who were, partners in relation in relationship board different roles but to see them part of the team today and see the role that they play today uh, that's exciting the billy graham organization i mean that's a pivotal one uh, i remember standing there with a, a certain pastor leader in the city and we're standing there looking in the uh what was it called then where they play hockey was uh, this where they did the billy graham thing what's that called uh, anybody know help me palladium palladium yeah. is that what palladium at the time yeah. And we're sitting there going, what's going to happen when this is over? Mm -hmm. And I felt like, we felt like, the board felt like that we were going to, we'd sowed some seed into that work. We'd got received from that, but that that was going to be part of our role of trying to take some of those pieces that of the gathering of the hen nest and the, the coming together that one way would be part of connecting some of those dots. Yeah. And, and so you can to do that. continue to do that. And so that involves the word, unity in the body of Christ you know, here in our city.